I just wanted to make a overview of my Woodland Mills HM126. I have built me a trailer. I built it out of four by four by three eighths wall square tubing, quarter inch three by three angle for my track and some six inch channel iron for some extra bumps because I didn't get enough. I didn't order, order the track extension or anything from Woodland Mill, so I only got the bumps that come with it originally. So I just added a, a few more bumps. Uh, the total length's 20 feet. I can cut a 16 and a half foot log, no problem. Uh, probably could go 17 feet. Uh, I've got six jacks on it to stabilize and level. Uh, I built a winch powered log turner does really good And it sits down below the deck and, uh, and you let it all the way down. Uh, also have a winch powered log clamp. It's a winch down here at the other end that powers it. Cable comes up, comes through this pulley and over to here. When you winch in, it slides across, clamps, and when you let out, this cable runs back to here and I have two trampoline springs hooked right there and they return it back to that position. And you can, you can put this thing any, any which way you want, all the way down. And that little stop right here only sticks up above the bed height, three quarters of an inch. My sawmill only cut down to one inch, so that gives me a little clearance. It does really good. Come on back here. Uh, all of my sawmill is pretty much stock, except for, probably see the little clothesline or festoon cable, whatever you want to call it. And that operates my power up and down on the head. I love it. Way better than cranking that handle wearing your shoulder out. Works really good. Cable stretches out down the down the track as you roll. Holds it all up, does really good. Don't have any complaints, cuts really good. Oh, another thing I did, I cut a lot of eight inch boards. So in order to make an eight inch cant, if I have like a 16 inch cant on my, my sawmill here, that allows me to drop down. I have a full eight inches, actually like eight and a quarter inches clearance between the bottom and the top of the blade. All I did was uh, just took my plasma cutter, cut all the way across, down, and then I went up under there and I capped it back off, welded it back solid. But that's about as much as you can go because you get into your, your motor mount here. So that all I did was cut it flush with the bottom of that motor mount. It added. Sorry about that, that's my air compressor blowing off, but uh, it added probably three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch to it, which is plenty. Now I can drop down and cut my, that's what this side looks like. 
Not the prettiest cutting and welding, but I don't care. It gets the job done. But, uh, like I say, other than that, it does really good. Have six jacks on it. I don't have those down right now. I had it in the shop here. Actually, putting some longer teeth on this thing. Uh, the original ones, you can kind of see this one down here. It's about half the height for this one, and it just won't, wasn't long enough to get through the bark. So I just cut these out real quick and tack them on there. It looks like crap, but I'm going to test them. If it works good, I'm going to cut it up, take that piece off, and make a nicer looking one. Maybe out of stainless or something and put it back on. Those are just trampoline springs, but all in all, very nice cutting sawmill.